guys, we're rocketing through the week. We're at Tuesday and we're looking at Tensho part three. So we interpret this as a fan block, so we're going to show you how to do it, why you would do it, and when to do it. With this part of the Tensho Kata, we are going to wax on, wax off, and maybe even sand the floor. Nice. Don't forget, drop us a line, throw us a like, all helps the algorithm, and we've got a link in the bottom for our merchandise. You can wear some really classic t-shirts. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, ring the notification bell. I thought that was free to fear. Very fair. <laughs> you like that? Okay. So one of Kev's favourite is a classic fan block. There's nothing more graceful than Kev sitting at home because he's got the vapors. So you, you can use your fan. Apparently you've got a fan. Have I? Yes. 93 years old, still got our own hips. With the fan block, in the tensho cutter, as you say, wax on, other side, we come then start going into the next two sections, but we call this part three. Yep, so it's inside to outside. Yep, and then if you fancy going the other way. Ooh, go both ways. So, as you've seen in the film, wax on, wax off, sand the floor, sand the floor. For this piece, the sand the floor actually comes into the beginning section after you've done the punch, you've got the same motion. So what we interpret as, and this is a personal interpretation, is a classic band lock. Yeah, also leads into the windscreen wiper. But it is a block. This is a question I ask myself. We've got a little drill to prove that later on. Have we? We have. What you're looking for is a wrist rotation, one way, then the other. Tip on the floor. Glad my camera's not there today. Close with the elbow. Rotation. You can go for a full 360, but you're looking at if I had a straight line attack, so if Kev straight lines attack me with the cane, I only need to move it to this distance. I don't need to pursue it any further. If it's the other way, a little bit longer but you'll see why that's not going to work as a block, but it's still effective. So it's a rotation of the wrist. Outside, out, full length distance, weaker, closer, very good. I use this for striking rather than for blocking. Yeah. For me, in the chair, I have to be at a certain distance, otherwise I'm going to hit myself. So yeah. just, just for basically being on seated, seated. You're making words up. I know, seated, then it works nicely. Yeah, and I'm, I'm perfectly willing to take the risk that you're going to hit yourself with a cane. <laughs> but I'm going to steal that for a second. No! If you're in the two cane position, which I often am, make sure, nice stable base, just for a drill, just practicing one side, other side, inside to outside, both sides. The more you practice, the better you'll get. But as we always say, practice slow, get the technique and form correct, build up your speed and power afterwards. Wasn't that nicer? Ah, oh, thank you. So when I practice this, Kev loves this, when I do this, I'm also moving offline as well. Are you saying something? I am emphasizing something. I've got movement. I've got rhythm. No movement, no, no. I've got moonlight. And I can't remember the rest of the words. So you movement in this. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I'm not worried. So as you're doing this, moving. Now, I prefer these as strikes. I, I, personally, I think it's a strike. But what I'm going to do is hold the pad, and Kev is going to poke me in the pad. What I'm going to do is try and block the poke. 
You win. You win. Ah, pretty. So if that's come, I wasn't even ready, which is the other point. I was, even when I'm expecting it, I'm still not. I'll end up worse off. If he does it and I move, <laughs> do I need to block? I pre-empty that. So it may work, but I oh groin shot. So very difficult to block. But like, he is not going to be that far away. He's going to be in yeah. a very close distance. But then other techniques come in from this, rather than trying to block an arm that's coming, unless. And it, it does happen, you get the classic self-defense seminar. Oh, I wonder what's coming in here. And I have seen this. And obviously they miss anyway because they're trained not to hit. I have also seen that as well. So as a block, mm. it can work, but it works better for striking and for grabbing. For these techniques, you do need a good strong grip. So if you haven't seen Callum's follow-on video that we've done, there will be a link at the end. So, Callum goes to punch, if I say, right, now, punch me in the head, I'm going to try and block it, I'm not going to go very fast, yeah. but even if he goes in, I, I'm not, that wasn't even a fast punch. By the time I've done that, I've been hit. So, where would I use it? The classic example, if he's in close, do the classic. All I have to do is a fan block, either one way, which one's easy to spot? That was hard to spot that one. Yeah. So you've got these close in strike. <laughs> Sorry Callum. Doesn't have to be here. If I strike do low striking blocks, get the same effect. If he puts a hand on, I know where his hand is. If I do that way, when you, straight away you can see it. You can see it. He instantly went to block it with his elbow, which suits me no end. But even from there, striking here, here, same movement, same principle, but it's great. But this leads on to other things. So it does one grab. Oh, please don't hurt me, Callum, you're so brutal. I do the block, but I've got my follow-on techniques. So it leads on to something else. I'm quite fond of tapping from the hip down to the ankle. So it's a low fan block but I would recommend trying out those wrist strengthening exercises with that. It does a double grab, it makes my life really easy because no matter which way I go, can't see it, yeah. he, he, he can't see it. But this leads itself into fan block. Oops, I may have accidentally inadvertently struck him. I'm now into link onto pushing waves, sticky cane techniques, hugging technique, so your fan block also works as an entry technique. If you change your grip, you get all sorts of nut eating. <laughs> Callum's backed off, he knows what's coming, I'm pretty sure you know what's coming. Double-handed grab. I have used this, somebody's coming for a nice kick, but being a classic, I'm gonna step back just to inform what I'm gonna do, and launch a kick at your groin, it was very easy just to do a low fan block, either way, and strike it, so I'm, Wax on, sand the floor. Same principle, one way or the other. Don't limit yourself to a strict routine. Adapt it and you'll find it will suit your situation. So Kev's in the chair, he's got his trusty handy dandy half cane. What's gonna change? If I do a one-handed grab, the point and threat or anything like that, he's got the fan block. I'm trying to resist that and there's not much effort required from that if I actually try and throw it, but this is easier for him. This is where the fan block will work as a punch, because the distance is so great. Sensibly, he's blocked with his arm. It's not even a block, he's just enforced the fact that that, he knows where that is, because he knows where that is, and he knows where my arm is. And that's not hurting at all. Is it? No. Do we hit a bit harder? You're all right. <laughs> if I do a double-handed grab, I've got to lean in, I'm off balance, if he does the move that he did earlier, straight away. And again, grab the cane, ha ha, my cane. I know I'm in for a while of her. So, still got it. Yeah, yeah. sure you want it? I want it. Dinner. I like the fan block because I use it either as an entry technique or as a striking technique. What about if I grabbed your cane? 
Not gonna happen. So, hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, the fan block does work in the chair for a block because of the distance. Great for a striking technique, great for an entry technique, and quite good for manipulation as well. So don't forget guys, thanks for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment, merch, link in the description. These all help the algorithm, helps our channel grow. What's the sign language for algorithm? Get on with it. Fair enough. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please leave a like, please ring the bell. I'll allow you this week. Please, free me. Free the fear. <laughs>